The mighty Mississippi River running low tonight. Good evening. I'm Joe Bird. And I'm Joy Redman. You might remember the record low river levels we saw last fall. Experts say they could get even lower this year. Action News 5's Walter Murphy joins us now live from the Riverside with details. And Walter, what could this mean for people's wallets? Well, first of all, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there is a sandbar that should that you can I can see it behind me, but it should absolutely not be above water. However, the water in the mighty Mississippi River now it's basically disappearing drop by drop and it's costing the people who use the river to deliver their products across the world a lot of money and it's something that consumers might start to see every single day on price tags. Just to give you some comparison, so nine years of drought in the southwest did not come with a $20 billion price tag that we got for 40 days of drought. Executive Director for the Mississippi River Cities and Towns Initiative, Colin Wellencamp, says this year's drought and the price tag for it could be exponentially worse. And that's because the 90-day averages released by NOAA over the weekend are projecting the big money won't see relief in the form of rising waters until after Christmas. And that has financial experts worried about the impact on the American economy because of the significance of the Mississippi River Corridor to U.S. exports. It may set up to actually be a little bit worse unless some rains come. Uh, so we are we are hopeful that uh, we can get some mitigation to this uh, right now. And last week at the MRCTI annual convention, a group of mayors voted unanimously to begin the work to create base level ground rules to mitigate things like lower river levels to make it easier for sectors like agriculture to recoup losses from not being able to send their crops down the river and to make the growing threat of climate crisis easier for Americans to weather when it comes to their wallets. I think local, state, and federal government actors can get together and sit down with private industry and agriculture, and we can do a lot to help alleviate these impacts for the American taxpayer. Now, this week, that organization, they're going to be meeting with the National Drought Resilience Partnership. Now, that is a federal co-op, and they're going to be giving them some immediate recommendations. We'll keep you up to date as any of that information becomes available. Until then, reporting live in Harbortown, I'm Walter Murphy, Action News 5.